Today I'm going to be doing two simple looks using the Better Together palette by Too Faced and Kat Von D. The first look is beautiful for spring and the second look is definitely a bit more alternative and not necessarily for everyone. So for the first look I'm prepping my skin using the Amazing Cosmetics Anti-Aging Face Primer. So this is a moisturiser and primer all in one. It's oil free, paraben free and fragrance free so it's definitely suitable for all skin types. The foundation I'm using is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and you've seen me using this a lot recently. I love the coverage and I love how it wears. So I'm just going to dot that onto my skin and then I'm going to work it in with a beauty blender. I am speeding the tutorial up because there's two looks to get through and you've seen me do a lot of my techniques in many of my other tutorials at regular speed. So I hope you won't mind that this particular tutorial is a bit more sped up. So much like the primer that we've just applied to the skin, this foundation is oil free. Too Faced have also just released 6 new shades in this foundation so I believe there are 18 shades available. I'm now going to add some more dimension to the skin. I'm going to use the Zoeva Cream Contour Palette. Out of the two brown shades in the palette, I'm going to use the Kula Ashia shade. And on my Zoeva 109 face paint brush, I'm going to pop that into the hollows of the cheeks. We want to create a shadowed appearance and that's why I've gone for the Kula Ashia shade. I'm also running a very small amount of that down the sides of my nose and a little bit in the temple area. And the brush I'm using here is a Zoeva 117 Petite Buffer Brush. To brighten underneath the eyes, I'm using this yellow based cream highlighter and I'm only using a very small amount on my Makeup Forever concealer brush and I'm working that in underneath the eyes and then pressing that into the skin using my Beauty Blender. And as you can see, my skin looks subtly highlighted and contoured but in a really natural way. Using the yellow base powder from the Powder Contour Palette by Zoeva, I'm setting underneath my eyes. The brush I'm using here is by Sigma and it's the F03 highlighting brush. Taking the lightest of the two browns from that powder contour palette, which is also the cooler of the two shades, I'm going to use that on my Zoeva 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush, and I'm going to trace over where we applied that cream contour shade. Now you don't have to use both, you can use either a powder or a cream. If you do use a cream, it is a good idea to set it in place though, because it can shift throughout the day. But play about and experiment and see what you prefer. So for this first look, I'm using the Too Faced side of the palette. And the first shade I'm using is BFF. This is a creamy matte shade and on my fluffy blending brush I'm working this over the entire eyelid to soak up any moisture. Then I'm going into the metallic bronze shade which is called Friendspiration and on my crown brush C510 Oval Shader I'm applying this over the mobile eyelid so from the lash line up to where the eye naturally creases. And then I'm softening the seams using my Black Canvas Cosmetics E25 blending brush. Going back to the palette, I'm using the shade Lovely, which is a matte finish baby pink shade. Now it's very subtle, especially under this lighting, but you can really build it up to give you a beautiful pink hue through your socket. Using the pink and green in this palette really brings that spring inspired feel to the look. Next I'm taking Power Couple, which is a shimmery antique bronzy gold shade. And I'm going to apply on that same C510 brush to the outer corner of the mobile eyelid and the inner corner of the mobile eyelid. And it's going to create a subtle ombre between the gold and the bronze shade. Going back in with my blending brush and a small amount of the baby pink shade, I'm reapplying that shade through the socket so we blend the scene between the pink and the bronze. And again feel free to apply as much or as little as you like. Next I'm taking Heart of Gold which is kind of like an olivey gold. And on a very small brush, I'm running that underneath the lower lashes. I think it looks more olivey because it's against the pink and the bronze. Along the waterline, I'm applying Teddy Pencil by MAC. This is a rich bronze colour and I find it's really reflective and it just makes the eye look beautiful, giving a really subtle, soft smoke. The next shade I'm using is called Better Together and this is like a shimmery heather purple. On a small smudger brush, I'm working this very close to the lash line, just above that olivey gold shade. And the idea of this is just to intensify the lash root and just make it look a little bit more defined. Off camera I'm applying Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and these Esquido lashes in Black Magic. To add a bit of warmth to the skin I'm using a bronzer, this one is Nars Laguna. And on my Zoeva 127 brush I'm applying this directly across the cheekbones. I'm also going to add a small amount of that around my hairline where the sun would naturally hit. And I also like to take some down my neck. I'm using my favourite new blush, Ganifornia by Benefit. This is a golden pink shade, it's absolutely beautiful and it smells like pink grapefruit and vanilla. I'm working that onto the apples of the cheeks and backwards using my Makeup Forever 152 highlighter brush. For lips I'm using L'Oreal's Sexy Balm in 102 Gossip and this is one of their sheer balms. So that completes my first look which is very spring inspired and fresh. 
For the second look, I'm using Wonder 2 Coverproof Foundation. This is available in five shades, and what's supposed to make it different is that it's super long wearing. On the website, you can see test results for this foundation. Nine out of 10 women said that they went swimming with the foundation on and it still lasted. They also had women test this for 28 hours. I'm not sure why you'd wanna wear it so long, but apparently 10 out of 10 agreed that it lasted. The longest I've tested it for is five hours and it definitely lasted for that. I love how it goes on and you'll definitely be seeing more of it. I'm gonna be setting the center of my face using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Micro Finishing Powder. This powder is super fine and it's perfect for 4K filming. I'm using 01 Translucent, but they also do it in banana and peach. Once I've finished my makeup, I'll then go and set the rest of the face. So I'm using the Kat Von D side of the palette. These eyeshadows are made up of Kat's signature formulation, so they're super pigmented. The first colour I'm using is Yours, which is a matte stone grey shade. Using my Zoeva 228 crease brush, I'm working that through the socket of the eye. I like to lay down the majority of the colour on the outer corner first and then work with what's left on the bristles through the socket of the eye. So make sure you really, really blend this first layer in. Don't worry if it looks slightly patchy and it's not completely even. You just want to make sure it's really well blended and then we're going to go in with a second layer. I decided to switch my brush up to one that's more domed. This is the base shadow brush by Real Techniques. I find this easier to blend with. If you've got an eyeshadow that's too pigmented and your brush is very tapered, you're going to create more of a cut crease. And although we are working this through the socket, we still want it to be very soft. I'm now going to pat some of that colour onto the mobile eyelid on the inner corner and the outer corner, like we did with the first look. And then use what's left on the bristles to blend that through the socket. So this is the foundation for our smoky eye. I'm now taking Devotion, which is a jet matte black eyeshadow, and this is super pigmented. And using my Pro Oval C510 brush by Crown, I'm packing that over the top of where we've applied the grey eyeshadow on the mobile eyelid. Once you've packed that colour on, we're going to switch it back to our base shadow brush and we're going to blend the seams of this into the grey eyeshadow that we've got going on in the socket. You may have noticed that I've been favouring this style of eyeshadow for the last couple of weeks. I sometimes do this so that you can really learn the technique, but also to show you that one style can be really, really versatile. So just changing up the colours and the finishes of your eyeshadow will give you a completely different look. You can see I'm using my brush to feather the colour up and out so we get that nice soft smoke. Next I'm taking Pour Vida, which is a completely matte white and it's super pigmented. Using the same flat oval shader brush, I'm pressing this onto the centre of the lid. You'll have picked up this technique in other tutorials. The idea is that it makes your eyelid bigger in the centre, but also it gives it that three-dimensional appearance. Moving on to the shade Darling, this is a metallic pewter shade. And using the same brush but turning it over, I'm pressing that directly over the white eyeshadow. Next we're taking Swoon, which is a scarlet red with a metallic finish. And this is the part that makes the look quite alternative, but very Kat Von D. But don't panic because we are going to smoke it out so it will become a bit more muted. But if you're not a fan of red, then you can definitely skip it. I can't remember what brush I'm using, but I will list it in the description bar below. I'm simply running the red underneath the eye and connecting that with the top lid. Then I'm taking a little bit of black and repressing that over the outer corner. Next I'm taking Graphic Eyes Pencil by Zoeva in black. And I'm running that along the waterline to really smoke it out. This is one of the inkiest black pencils I know. The upper one is J Manual Beauty, but for some reason it really irritates my eyes. I'm just going to do a classic winged liner across the top lid using the Kat Von D eyeliner in Trooper, which is a satin black. When you buy the palette, you also get this eyeliner full sized and you also get a full sized Better Than Sex mascara. So off camera, I'm going to apply that mascara and also the eyelashes in Black Magic by Eskido. For blush, I'm using Lovejoy by MAC. Where we've got that red going on underneath the eyes, we're going to go over nude lip. So we really want a bit of punch to the cheeks. It also has a lot of shimmer, so you don't need to wear a highlighter with it. But bear in mind, a little goes a long way with this blusher. For lips, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm using MAC's Lip Glass in Clear Water. This is super shimmery and looks like water on your lips. It's beautiful. I'm also going to apply a very small amount of that to the inner corners of the eyes. So it's going to help pull the look together and give it a very subtle modern day grungy feel. Everyone loves a bit of highlight and especially gloss. And that completes my second look from the Better Together palette by Too Faced and Kat Von D. I really hope you enjoyed both looks. If you've got any other palettes you would like me to try out, then please let me know in the comment section below. If you're new to my channel, then please hit subscribe. If you've missed any of my previous tutorials, then you can click on these now and it will take you to those. 
For behind the scenes of my life and my job, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. They're all at Show Me Makeup and you can follow me on Snapchat at Shona Scott. As usual, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.